probably fair to say that no style of football has had as much influence on the modern game as total football. The style is most associated with the Ajax and Dutch national teams of the 1970s, and in fact it got its name from the 1974 Netherlands World Cup side. But it had its roots in the Austrian national side of Matthias Sindelar in the 1930s and Ferenc Puskas and Co's Hungarians in the 1950s, and the lineage of Ajax's way originated with two English coaches, Jack Reynolds, who managed the club in three spells between 1915 and 1947, and Vic Buckingham, who managed them twice between 1959 and 1965. Then came the pairing who really created the style. Rhinus Michaels, who had played under Reynolds and replaced Buckingham in the dugout, and Johan Cruyff, perhaps the most significant figure in European football ever. It was then continued by Stefan Kovacs, under whom Ajax became the greatest club side in the world for a time. Total football has perhaps two key concepts, the utilisation of space and the fluidity of positions. Both were aided by Michael's fanatical work rate and discipline, with fitness a significant focus alongside skill work with the ball. Space is key, make the pitch big when you're attacking and small when you're defending. In order to make this work, Ajax also pressed. At times, they pressed almost manically. There was less an emphasis on pressing into passing lanes than an effort, often led by the wonderfully tenacious Johan Neeskens, to swamp the opposition player in possession. In order to facilitate this, Ajax also played a very high defensive line, compressing space yet further. The formation most associated with total football is the 4-3-3, becoming a 3-4-3 as the libero steps up into midfield, a feature that persisted in Dutch football with players like Barry Hulshoff, Hurst Blackenberg and Danny Blind, and started largely at Ajax by the Serbian Velibor Vizovic. This allowed the defence to begin attacking moves, but also ensured that there were spare markers for the opposition centre-forwards and that Ajax could match a four-man midfield. As Jonathan Wilson notes, while other sides had engaged in horizontal positional switches such as wingers dropping inside or mild vertical ones like Nendo Hidaguti, Ajax and the Dutch national side were the first to engage in wholesale positional switches up and down each flank. In this way, the 4-3-3 or the 3-4-3 saw players on either flank push up and drop off, fluidly interchanging to create baffling attacking patterns. The team's spine in the most successful period of the early 1970s was Blackenberg, Neeskens and Cruyff, with Heinz Stoy in goal. The wide players, Wim Scherbier, Ari Hahn, who later became an accomplished sweeper, and Johnny Rep on the right, and Ruud Kroll, Gary Murren and Piet Keitzer on the left, all swapped with each other, knowing that this spine would hold and cover, but Cruyff also dropped off and moved wide at will. Pressing meant that, as long as players were pushed up and everyone could defend as well as attack, the fluidity of the team did not compromise its defensive shape. Of course, the attacking system could be negated, as Bertie Vogts and West Germany showed in 1974, by aggressive man-marking and flooding the midfield, but when Ajax were on song, it was nigh on impossible to stop them. The influences of total football show up in the coaching of Marcelo Bielsa and via Michaels and Cruyff's spells at Barcelona in the positional play of Pep Guardiola. Guardiola's positional play, which relies on vertical overloads, is only possible if players can change positions. And both Bielsa and Guardiola encourage their teams to control space, interchange, press and have encouraged players to play in roles that they aren't used to, where their skills as midfielders allow them to be attack-minded defenders, for example. The legacy of total football is not just in the beauty of Ajax and the Netherlands in the 70s, it lives on in some of the best football of today. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match. So there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.